Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul, as always, and I'm here to speak about Troy Parrott. Um, just how good is Troy Parrott? He's played in three preseason games now. One against Juventus, which he helped play a part in a goal, um, saved by Buffon. It's not a bad person to save a shot, is it? But uh, and um, then he's played against Man United. Uh, seemed to do really well against Man United as well. And then last night he played against Real Madrid and struck the post as well. So um, these are three big teams, and he's coming up against the likes of Benucci and Chiellini. These these types of players, Ramos and Varane. These these types of players, and he's training regularly with the Spurs, you know, first team, the team that got to the Champions League final. Albeit, you know, I could say it was to beat Ajax or so on, whatever. They still got to the Champions League final. Um, there's some world class players. He's learning day in day out of Harry Kane. He's playing it against the likes of Danny Rose, who's tipped to go on to PSG or some other top clubs at the moment. While this video is being made, uh, he's also being coming up against and being marked and trained by the likes of Vertonghen, Alderweireld, um, and so on. Like, uh, you look at, you know, the players that he's playing in, against and you kind of use the argument, should he be in the Ireland squad? And I think he definitely should be in the next Ireland squad regardless of whether he starts the first couple of games or not. I do think he is that type of player that can make something happen and, he, you know, he, he would very much unnerve uh, say a Switzerland side or or Denmark side, I think he's definitely worth the punt putting in there. I mean, for far too long we've we've been, you know, worrying about bringing in players too young. As far as I'm concerned, if you're if you're good enough, you're old enough. I mean, you look at the the likes of you know you, uh, the Brazilian Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney, even Theo Walcott to a degree. All these players were were quite young when they were brought into their national teams, but they went on to have really good careers. Now I'm not saying. I'm not trying to put pressure on Troy Paris to, to go on and be any like if he's a quarter of any of those players happy days. But, you know, so many top players and top coaches have come out and spoke about him and saying, you know, Pochettino's came out and said how much he loves him and he thinks he's gonna be a great player. His attitude is tremendous. So is Ledley King. He's come out and said he's he can be as good as he wants to be. It's all about how he goes about things. Uh Robbie Keane's come out and said he's been very, very impressed by the way he handles himself. He can handle pressure. His temperament's quite good. Um, his attitude's quite good. So, I mean, these are all play players and coaches and former players of a very high standard that are saying this about him. It's not like it's just any ordinary Joe just saying, oh, yeah, he's going to be absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of people talking about how good this kid can be. And, you know, you've met McCarthy coming out in interviews and saying, if he's starting for Spurs, who am I to kind of not start? That's fair enough, but I do think to a degree, it might be time to start trying to bet in some new players. He's, his argument is obviously, well, I have to get Ireland to the Euros, but I guarantee you, regardless of that, a lot of people, like, I'd be very surprised if anyone in the comments would disagree with wanting to see Troy Parrott be picked in the next Ireland squad. I, I really, I, I'd be bewildered as to, as to why. Um, Adam Ida could be in with a shout too, but these, like Pochettino has said, like right now, if he's to choose a squad, Troy Parrott's part of that squad. He's been, as far as I know, he's been given a squad number as well. So the only other way I see Troy not, not being part of the Spurs squad is if he maybe joins Robbie Keane at uh, Middlesbrough and goes maybe on loan there. Um, but like, this is what I'm saying is that he's 17 years old, I think he's 18 until February, but you look at the likes of Wales when they, they brought through players, you know, Ben Woodburn and, and those players and they came and done, made a really big difference, albeit they weren't playing, say for Liverpool or, or whatever, but I do think it's worthwhile getting them in, in, at least, you know, in and around the squad and start kind of blooding them in. I know he's kind of fast tracked. Um, from the 17s almost to the 21s and then he got injured but I do think you know it'd be crazy not to have him in the next squad I really do you look at the, his performances the players he's playing up against and he doesn't seem to phase him or whatever Bonucci you know playing against Buffon he doesn't seem phased at all and that's a sign of a really good player you know so for me and I'd love to know the thoughts of everybody else. So if you do feel strongly about this, let me know in the comments. I would love to know, you know, how good is Troy Parrott? Um, 
is is he worth putting into the next Ireland squad? That's the question I kind of put to the audience there, because I certainly think so, and I'd love to see him in at least involved. You know, a lot of people have been capped for less, so I think it's about time we kind of start changing our ways in regards to start bringing through youth players. Far too long we've, you know, people always look back to the Wes Hoolands and this of this mold who were, you know, didn't get their lucky break I suppose till very late in their careers. So hopefully. This is a, I'm not going to say that that's going to happen to Troy unless uh, an unmerciful injury happens, but I do think it's time that um, he gets uh, he gets a look at even training with the first team at the very very least. I do think he should be pulled up or called up to the squad and just seeing how he does. You know he's training with world class players every day. See how he gets on in the Orling camp. Can't see him uh, not performing. But uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a video on this. I'm going to have some more videos. I'd like to start doing these types of videos where I'll interact with the audience. But I need you guys to start, you know, tell me what you want me to talk about or discuss in the comments. And then that way I can, I can go that way and get one of our lads to pull out the best comments of the week. And I'll start answering them. So uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you all soon, all right?